welcome, welcome, welcome to the dungeon. Uh, we're gonna redo the mouse. I just, I despise it with all of like everything. I don't know, but I wanna redo the mouse and it's all about how much you practice. You have to practice a lot, okay? And practice a lot means not wasting glass. You can't think of it as wasting glass. And just be patient with yourself, especially when it comes to going off the mandrel. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and redo the mouse. We'll see you next time on another um, episode, volume, 101 something, I don't know, but we will see you soon. Bye. So I'm going to use a rod of my new pink bubble gum. And to build up the amount of glass that I need for this mouse is uh, just heating in the center of the rod. And I do that because I'll need to use both rods. Uh, I'll need two rods of this. And I just kind of start smashing it down on, onto itself and then getting as much glass as I can possibly get on that one rod until I just can't hold anymore. And at that point, I'll kind of be holding it up in the air, sometimes at an almost a 90 degree angle, just to get it rounded and just like holding as a ball on the end of my rod. And then I will slowly start to let it cool down and use gravity a little at a time. I'm holding it down and then I'll hold it straight. Um, and then I'll hold it down and then I'll lift it up to get the shape that I want of this mouse. And you want it longer than you think because here is where you press it down to give it a flat surface to sit on. Let the whole thing cool and press it down again. You gotta do the press twice. Okay, three times. I really wanna make sure it's flat, but also you need to heat up just the bottom area and build up as much glass as you can. Get the biggest wad that you can for this tail bit. Let it cool down. And this is actually taking a lot longer. I'm really letting that glass cool down before I touch it. And look, I'm very gently pulling, very gently. This is all real time right here. I take my time and then before the glass has time to cool down all the way, I turn it and make it into a handle, okay? That might take some time. And then I'm going to flip it over and only heat where I want the other um, rod to come off so I can make the head. And this is tricky because what you're doing is you're heating up and you're heating down into the side and you're trying to get this ball, but at the same time, don't heat anything else up. Trust me. And don't heat this up so much to where it becomes part of that main body because you want to differentiate the head from the body. And once you get that little ball, use gravity and just a little tiny bit of a hot rod or a warm rod to pull that nose out. So basically the head should still be, you know, pretty hot. It's cooling down and then you make that pull. That is the face. Try just to stop there and then move straight on because your head is still warm don't heat anything else up move on to adding one large drop of a ball of glass round it to get a little bit more on there that's what how i get more on there heat it this is weird too because you're heating it at a strange angle and give it one firm press and then move on don't heat that up again heat up the other side gently because the head still has the most amount of heat in it 
we're going to do exactly the same thing. Get the ball hot, just drop it, and lift up your glass and give it a little twist, which will be able to cast off some extra for you. And then heat it once and quickly press, and you are done. You don't touch it again unless you want to add a little tiny bit to the nose because the nose is the tiniest point now and we can add something to it because it's so small. All right, but that's it. So now that we have that done, if you have to take it off the mandrel now, get a pair of tweezers, heat them up. I get them a little red hot and then I cool them down because if they're too red hot, they can stick, okay? And then just grab the body part and heat up very gently where the tail and the rod meet. And that don't heat anything else up. Just that and then cast that off very gently and you're done. You're finished. It's over. Hopefully you'll be able to make it stand up. A lot of that has to do with the tail. If your tail is too long, it may not stand upright, but there we have it. The mouse. I think this one came out so much nicer. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps. Practice, practice, practice.